Hello and welcome to the Grand Line Review, your source for everything One Piece. This is kind of an unusual video for the channel, but I've just come across something so very, very strange and yet so incredibly cool. It's kind of difficult to comprehend in the West, but in Japan, One Piece is a mega property with awareness amongst the population of the equivalent of, say, Game of Thrones here. Everybody knows about One Piece, even if they do not watch or read it. And so as a result, it becomes a very attractive vehicle for advertising. You know, things such as soft drink, shaving blades, toothpaste, anything that can be sold will inevitably have One Piece slapped on top of it. But what we have here takes this idea to a whole new level. Indeed is a global job searching website that operates in an absurd amount of countries, of course, including Japan. And what Indeed Japan have done has hired a ton of famous Japanese actors and put together an absolutely beautiful looking commercial advertising the website. I'll put a link to the actual commercial in a pinned comment below. I just don't want to show it here because, you know, Japan is Japan and they will copyright claim anything and everything they can. It's a very cool and just plain strange ad though. And while it's obviously made with a very comedic and on the nose focus, it does kind of give me hope for an actual live action adaptation. I mean, for the most part, everybody looks fantastic, like they've been ripped straight out of the manga. I mean, well, like, except for Chopper, who is played by an actual reindeer rather than his more recognizable Tanuki persona. The best part though, is that this is not just a simple commercial and indeed Japan now have an entirely One Piece themed job search page, which is what we're looking at right now. They've got a little section introducing each member of the crew featured in the ad. And the best part is that they're all pictures recreating the bounty posters with Luffy and Nami in particular looking quite phenomenal, while Usopp is a bit, uh, then. Oh, and I only just realized this, but if you actually click on the posters and then click on the photo of the Straw Hat members, then they even say a little quote. It's absolutely incredible. But the website does not stop there as we move on to the actual job seeking portion, which prompts us to use the actual website by giving you some handy keywords to start off with, such as develop Sanji's recipes, you know, AKA become a chef or chopper's assistant, you know, if you're interested in the medical field. And there's one for Nami as well. And there are a couple of others coming soon. I'm actually very intrigued to see what Zoro's job prompt is going to be. Cause the last time I checked, alcoholics don't get paid all that much. But then you scroll down even further and we have this whole section based on the World Economic Journal. And this is almost my favorite part because this is not something that the average person who just has a passing knowledge about One Piece would know about. And rather sadly, I can't read all of this stuff because my Japanese is just beyond pathetic, but they have a whole bunch of One Piece related news articles and even advertisements. But some of my favorites being this little ad for Sabadi Park and this amazing banner ad for the Liar Noland book. It's incredible just how much detail they have put into this marketing campaign. I mean, even when parts of the website are loading, it has the new world log post just dancing about, which is a nice little touch. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I just thought that this was absolutely incredible and had to share it. If you enjoyed this video, and the content this channel produces in general, then please do consider donating to the Grand Line Review Patreon because the support of all of you amazing people is what continues to make this channel possible. Also do check out my Teespring store if you're interested in shirts, hoodies, and other miscellaneous items with the proceeds also going directly to support the channel. And if you'd like to join the fun at any time, then do head over to my Discord server where a wide array of shenaniganry takes place on a daily basis. And finally, please do comment with your own thoughts on this strange, strange ad. This has been the Grand Line Review and I'll see you next time.